What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and we're doing Grieger. First up in the English version is known as Grieger, in the Japanese is known as Bomber. His age, I'm not too sure, but probably in his late 20s, at a guess. Probably. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, episode 14, Bloom of the Black Rose. Here are his wins, here are his losses, and here's his dual score. So a quick gist on the character. Grieger, known as Bomber in the Japanese version, was one of Goodwin's five dueling assassins that took part in the Fortune Cup with the goal of exposing the Signers. Later on in the series, he became a member of the Dark Signers, bearing the mark of the Killer Whale and acquiring the Earthbound Immortal, Chaku Chahula. I always butcher all the Earthbound Immortals, I'm so sorry. Grieger's origin is possibly from South America. He has long, dark black hair that features some screw-like accessories scattered about in it. His hairline is in a widow's peak-like shape, and he has dark blue eyes. Grieger was a prideful yet stoic character. Others see him as a Goliath, as he dwarfs most duelists due to his huge size. Although his opponents find him intimidating, his family sees the heart of a hero, who will do whatever it takes to come out on top to achieve his goals. Grieger typically wears a sleeveless armoured chest piece with fingerless gloves and gold bands around his upper arms. His belt has the letter B on it, presumably referring to his Japanese name, Bomber. In the dub, the letter is removed. When he becomes a dark signer, he wears the typical uniform accented with the colour purple. So, Grieger grew up in a poor village near the Nazca Lines. It was thought that Elasta had used Grieger's village as the site of an experiment to summon the Crimson Dragon, which completely destroyed the village and killed his entire family. With such information that Elasta didn't want anyone to know, Grieger then became involved in some sort of compromise with Rex Goodwin, and agreed that Kybercorp would provide aid for the reconstruction of the village in exchange for exposing the signers during the Fortune Cup. Up. During the Fortune Cup semi-finals, he dueled Yusei. It was revealed during the match that Grieger had learned of his siblings' deaths. In the dub, death was still strongly implied, which is pretty good for the dub, to be fair. During the duel, Grieger gained an advantage over Yusei by summoning his ace card, Flying Fortress Sky Fire. However, Yusei was able to destroy it. Having lost the match and enraged at no longer being able to help his brother and sister, Grieger not only revealed the truth about the village to the audience, he then decided to take revenge on Goodwin for his village's destruction. Grieger used his dual runner and launched it towards Goodwin, intending to kill him. Yusei attempted to stop him, but one of the spikes on Grieger's dual runner broke off and flew toward Goodwin. Goodwin was able to catch it with his prosthetic hand, saving himself. Grieger was then arrested, and when later being transported, when Misty Treadwell summoned her Earth and Immortal Karakuria, the guards transporting Grieger, as well as everyone else within the Nazca border, were absorbed. However, Grieger was freed by Devac, inviting Grieger to join them in order to get revenge. Roman Goodwin brought Grieger to the doors of the Underworld. Roman said that he was going to gain newfound powers as a Dark Signer. Grieger agreed to stop Yusei in order to get vengeance on Goodwin. Grieger was then transformed into a Dark Signer after Roman killed him by hanging him. In the dub, he was dropped into the Neverworld via a trapdoor, and the thread that hung him was removed. That's pretty dark. At the same time, he also obtained an Earthbound Immortal known as Kaku Kalua. On his way to duel Yusei, he instead duels Crow, where it is revealed that it was Grieger's Earthbound Immortal that had caused his village's and siblings' disappearance, as their souls were now trapped inside the monster. Upon this revelation, Grieger attempted to back down, but was taken over by the guard and forced to attack. The duel ended with Crow as the victor, and the souls of everyone the Immortal had absorbed were released, including everyone from Grieger's village. Grieger, having to pay the price as a Dark Signer, crumbled to dust, but not before apologising to both Crow and Yusei. He died happy, knowing what finally happened to his village and that they were all free. A shooting star was seen over his village later, his brother and sister wondered if Grieger was also watching it. On a positive note though, when Rex was defeated in the final battle and the King of the Neverworld was destroyed, Grieger was restored to life, along with the other Dark Signers. 
So in Grieger's ground duels, Grieger uses a reactor deck which focuses on summoning his reactor monsters and punishing his opponents for summoning monsters or activating cards by inflicting damage until he summons all three reactors. This helps him to special summon Flying Fortress Skyfire. In his turbo duels, Grieger uses a reactor turbo deck which focuses on his Flying Fortress Skyfire and gathering the necessary monsters through cards such as Fake Explosion and Hidden Soldiers. Upon becoming a Dark Signer, Grieger acquired Dark Flat Top, which he used to support his Flying Fortress Skyfire. He also used cards such as Dark Sea Rescue and Dark Sea Float to replenish his hand, as his strategy required a large amount of cards. If this failed, he used his Earthbound Immortal Kaku Kalua, as well as a burn strategy through cards such as Basara. And with that guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh 5D's Done. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below, don't forget to leave a like and suggest more characters to do next time. Catch you later guys, see you next time.